I am Hasina Bilo. I'm a neutron um, imaging scientist at the neutron uh, facilities here at Oak Ridge. We see people from anywhere in the world uh, who come uh, to use neutrons um, and we try to help them solve their problems. So neutrons are used as a characterization method. They have a very strong penetrating power. With x-rays you would it would be very difficult to penetrate, but with neutrons it's quite different. The neutron interacts with the nucleus of an atom. It's very sensitive to light elements such as hydrogen or lithium, so it complements X-ray techniques. So in biology or soft matter, what we call soft matter, we have been looking at plants and particularly the roots, and we were trying to understand the root dynamics the water uptake, how does a plant uptake uh, water through the roots um, and how does the environment or any stimulus you apply to the plant changes those dynamics. We've also looked at uh, canine tissue samples, so natural uh, cancer in the dog uh, is very similar to the human cancer. Um, and we have extracted tissues from uh, companion animals um, at the University of Tennessee and trying to image in three dimensions the shape and the structure of the cancer. Our goal working with the University of Tennessee is to understand how the neutron contrast is different from the other imaging techniques available for me medical imaging and how can neutrons provide the complementary information that is not available with other techniques. We've also worked on very applied uh, techniques such as diesel particulate filter and try to help um, scientists at NTRC optimize their filters to prevent particulate matter from being exhausted in the atmosphere. This turbine blade is made um, by additive manufacturing so 3D printing. This has a very complicated internal structure, so it looks very shiny and very smooth on the outside, but as you know, for turbine blade, airflow is very critical. So we image this in 3D. We are capable of, of rotating the sample around itself and taking all these radiographs that we later combine using a software in a 3D model. And that 3D model, we can basically dissect it any way we want in a non-destructive way. Flying through that object and look, looking at the surface, the internal surface roughness, which is not accessible any other way. And as you can imagine, if you try to open it up or cut it, then you're disrupting the, the internal structure. So you're modifying what you're really trying to understand. What was the most rewarding uh, thing I have ever experienced at, at, at the Beamline is we had a company who came to look at uh, heat exchangers and they set up, it took them a whole day to set up. It was a team of five, two technicians, one scientist, uh, uh, two engineers. And at the end of the day, we were all exhausted and we took the first image and it worked perfectly. We, we were able to see that spray. And you should have seen the smile on the team's face, you know, that I can't believe we can see. I think that was uh, one of the most rewarding experience I've ever had uh, at the instrument.